Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a brand new vlog. I thought I'd throw you for a loop this time and show up with some makeup on, not looking like a toe. Believe me, the pleasure is all mine. I just thought we'd hang out this weekend. I just finished filming my July favorites video. July was a little rough. Every summer I have like a month of sadness. I'm really hoping that July was the month and moving forward I can kind of let go and enjoy like the last month of summer. I just want to get in a good headspace. I did that July reset video where I got ready for July and I don't really know what happened. I just have a lot of anxiety and I feel manic again. I want to talk about the elephant in the room. I don't really think that you think there's an elephant but I think I feel the elephant. She is right here and I'm gonna try and not get my nail polish on her. Yes, I'm crazy and I live on the edge sometimes. Most times I live in fear. I did something. I don't really feel like it was the right thing for me to do, but this is what I'm saying when I get, I get like manic and I get anxiety over the dumbest things. So I bought this bag. It comes with a strap. The strap is inside. I showed you guys when I did my unboxing of it. Let me like make this a little cuter. I don't know. I really don't think that this was a wise purchase for me. Like I really love it and I will definitely use it. I wish it was a bit bigger and I wish that there was a shoulder strap. So I went to work this week. I'm looking for a venue for an event that I'm hosting for my company. So I went on a walk to go check out this venue. The venue was like, okay, so-so. But on my way there, I walked past the Fendi flagship store. Sorry, my hair is like really driving me crazy. I saw that they had a bunch of new bags in the window because like we know this is a new bag. This was launched in the recent collection. And I asked them what kind of shoulder straps that they had. Christian really sold me the strap. So I bought a shoulder strap. I'm hoping it comes in time before I upload this video. I think that it will, but I'm like hoping that the shoulder strap makes this a little bit more wearable in my mind. And then I went into the store and I spent even more money on this bag by buying that strap. And I just, I feel really like panicked about it. But why do I feel panicked about it? It's a bag. And I probably shouldn't have bought the strap and I probably shouldn't have bought this bag, but I don't know. I really want this bag to work for me. And I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's just like really heavy for some reason. I think I need to just chill this weekend. I need like a chill weekend of just like good vibes, good energy, beach days. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. I need a break. I feel really burnt out. I feel exhausted. I feel really sensitive. And again, I'm letting things that shouldn't matter really bother me. I don't know why I'm really dwelling on the fact that I bought this handbag and I'm really dwelling on the fact that I just bought this shoulder strap. Should I have bought it? No. I don't think I should have bought it, but I do think that I'll get a lot of wear out of it. So not just with this bag, but with my other bags. So I'm going to let it go. Anyway, I don't want to talk and ramble. I don't know how I feel about this color. Can we all let me know what we think about this color? It's kind of like puke green, but I knew that it was puke green because this is what it looks like in the bottle. Still very much looks like puke green, but this is OPI in Priceless with the dollar signs as the two S's, which I guess is kind of fitting. But I need to take a chill pill. I need to pump the brakes. And for the next month, all of August, I am doing a no buy. No unnecessary buys. I'm not buying a damn thing. We're decluttering. I need to declutter. We're gonna declutter a bit in this video. If you watched my last one, we decluttered my vanity. We'll declutter my skincare or my hair care. We're gonna declutter something. I don't know, maybe my closet, but I just, I need to go through all the things that I have because I don't know what it is. I get anxiety and then I shop. That is weird and I think that it's weird. And I was watching back my Fendi unboxing. You know, it's a week tomorrow that I would have bought my bag and I am no more happier than I was before I bought the bag. So I need to let go of the temporary retail high. Material things do not bring happiness as much as, you know, I do think to an extent they do. Like my jewelry, I wear it every day. I look down, it makes me happy. But I'm gonna be honest, if I'm having a shit day, like looking at my bracelet doesn't fix my shit day. I need to fix it from the inside out. And I need to really share that sentiment with you guys, like buying things. It's fun in the moment, but it doesn't fix our problems. My aunt Debbie is gonna come and spend the weekend with us this weekend. I'm excited to see what we get into. I think we're gonna just chill. I wanna show you this outfit. It's really pretty. It's very feminine. This is the dress. I really like love how flowy it is. I love the colors. I feel like this is very much like my color scheme this summer. I've been really enjoying like pinks and peaches. Trying to get in touch with my feminine side because 
I just feel like I need to do that for my own sanity, for my mental health. I don't think that any of this makes any sense to anyone, but it makes sense to me. Let go of like the hard exterior that for some reason I've been holding on to for what seems like for so long. I just need to hone into my sensitive side and my feelings and let me just feel my feelings and let them go. When I wear things like this, I feel like I can kind of tap into that person. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like I'm a character. And when I dress the part, I feel the part and I don't, like let me know if that makes any sense but let me bring you down i think it's really cute i don't know but i rented it this is not something that i would buy because i just feel like it's such a memorable dress i wear it a couple times and then like i'm not gonna wear it again like i i am an outfit repeater i think that that's normal that's healthy but I don't like to spend my money on things like this if I can just rent them and send them back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I did spend my money on my rental fee, but I didn't like, it's not taking up space in my closet, if that makes sense. This is the back. So two straps on the back. And then this is just, I thought this was cool. Like I like this neckline and I like that it's adjustable in the back so I can wear the neckline. But anyway, I've just been packing for our weekend. I put all of my makeup in here. I have my little like to-go sunscreen pouch, painted my nails, which can someone let me know if they've experienced such a thing. I purchased the Eucerin SPF 50 and I love it. However, for some reason, I have a regular schmegular manicure. I paint my own nails. Also though, this little device guy, this is like a timer. You put your hand in here and it dries your nails. I use this on my hands and my feet and it is life changing. I will try and find it and I'll link it on my Amazon storefront. The way that I paint my nails, I do it in sections. I don't know if you care, but if you're someone that paints your nails, I am very impatient. I'm just a very impatient person. I always have been. Last night when Mike and I were watching TV, took off my nail polish, I pushed my cuticles back, I cut my cuticles, I cleaned my nails and then so today I painted them. So I kind of do it in a two step routine. So it doesn't feel like it takes as much time. With the Eucerin SPF 50, for some reason it ruins my manicure like it leaves a film on top of my nails and then my nails don't look as shiny it kind of looks like a manicure that i've been wearing for two weeks that hasn't chipped but it just gives a very dull look i didn't want to paint my nails today but i want to look cute like i really like this dress and i'm just trying to dress up and i feel like that has been the only thing that has been getting me through my days and that might sound terrible i'm not trying to be dramatic i just I'm not in a good spot. I feel very down. I feel very anxious. I feel sad. Getting dressed in a cute dress and putting on my makeup as surface as that sounds, it's what helps get me through the day. I don't know, like I really haven't been enjoying my workouts. I haven't been enjoying eating. I haven't been enjoying doing anything except sleeping, getting dressed and doing my makeup. And that's really it. Um, and reading my book, I'm really enjoying Summer Sisters. And I'm thinking I should go outside, get some vitamin D. I just feel like I've been inside for most of the summer and I'm not thriving and living the best summer that I can live. I need to clean this room. Clean this room multiple times a week. And it just, I don't know. I think I'm just bad at organizing. Like the space that I have, like my closet, my whatnot, needs to be organized so I can put things away. Because look at this room. Why do I have jean shorts there? Why do I have, like, it's just everywhere thrown. We're gonna get our endorphins flowing and Mike and I are gonna go for a walk before we go to dinner. The fit. These are like some funky Gymshark shorts. This is my credit card. This is a terrible ankle. Some like mesh football player looking. I feel like I'm playing, what's that called? Like a scrimmage, a scrimmage game in this, but I really like these shorts cause they're not too short. I'll try and find them and link them down below. But they were a gift from my sister, but anywho. I will put my dress on again for dinner and I'll show you the room because I actually did a really good job of cleaning it until I just got changed. And now it's still a lot cleaner, but not as clean as it could be. I'm like a tornado when I get ready to do anything, especially when Mike's like, let's go for a walk in five minutes. I feel like this is what my soul needs, even though I just don't feel like going. Like my body doesn't feel like moving. My legs are heavy and I'm tired and I'd just rather sit here and drink a cold beer, but this will be better for me than that.
Just kidding. I'm not putting my dress on because we're not going to dinner. Mike just wanted to go pick up food. Oh my god, I'm so hot. Anyway, I thought that since Mike went to go pick up the food, we could just do a quick declutter. And I've been wanting to declutter down here. Let me show you. My hair looks crazy. Let me show you what we're working with. Underneath my sink, I hope you can see. I ordered a Lazy Susan and this is like where I keep all of my skincare, acne. It's just, it's a mess. And honestly, I go through this all the time. This is like the catch-all of all of things that I use on a daily basis. I just, I feel like we could go through this. There's things in here. These are definitely probably bad, some of these things. So let's quickly go through this so we can get on with our life. I hate this. I feel very wasteful, but we're decluttering so that I can start and be a minimalist. Okay, I'm just gonna be really cutthroat. I've had this Strivectin tighten and lift for a really long time. I think it's been longer than 18 months and we all know that I have very sensitive skin. So first I'm gonna go through, you know what? I'm just gonna go through each section and pull out what I'm get, gonna get rid of. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of this. This is in my mask section. I'm also gonna get rid of this. I just feel like I've been holding on to this for a really long time. I've had this for way longer than 12 months. This is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. I am just not a masking kind of gal. The only mask that I use is this one that Alexa bought me from Volition. I hope this is still good. Mm, I feel like it might be on the border of not being good, but oh yeah, six months. I might try this this weekend and then get rid of it. I've stopped using this ever since I got the Face Reality Cleanser. This is Mario Badescu, the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I've had this for such a long time because all you really need is a little bit. I've definitely had this for longer than 12 months. I hate this, like this makes me feel terrible. I really don't like this facial toner at Honeybee Gardens. It's alcohol-free hydrating. It just smells weird and it irritates my skin. I just feel like that's bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I've had this since COVID. This is the Bliss Clear, Ge Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. This was so good when I used to wear a facial mask every day. It was so good at helping to prevent and clear my acne that I would get under my mask. How long do we think that things last for? I'm making a lot of room here, which is very exciting. Look at how much is left in my little night cream. I'm so excited about this. Number seven, I can't wait to finish this. Roche Posay, I'm gonna give them another shot. I haven't opened this, but I just wanna share this with you. This is their SPF 50 Daily Invisible Sunscreen. I'm running really low, really low on my everyday sunscreen right here. I love this stuff. Dr. Dennis Gross, Ultimate Defense SPF 50. So as soon as I run out of this, I'm gonna use this and I'll let you know which one's better. Avene, have I ever opened this? Oh God, what is this? Hydrating mask. Oh, it feels grainy. We're gonna get rid of this. I feel terrible. Ever since I had that flare up on my face, I'm just scared to put anything on my face. Expiration 121, she needs to go. Hydro Boost, I never use these. Um, this is definitely bad, so I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Vacuum Cleaner, purifying mask. This is not open, so I will hold on to this. AHA Renewing Cream by Skin Fix. Is this open? No, this is not open. I will keep this. I hate Glam Glow. Are they still a thing? I'm gonna get rid of this because I know my skin's gonna absolutely hate this. Biofresh Mask with real calming herbs. Expires. I can't see what the hell that says. 2020, gotta go. I just feel like I've had these for a lifetime and a day. I'm gonna get rid of this. Clay mask, I don't need that, I don't need that. Rodan and Fields Intensive Renewing Serum. I guess I'll hold on to that. Warming Mud Mask, Hawaiian Detox, 2016. Lamb go. Plaque gel. I got this in Italy from my Italian dentist. When Mike and I were on our honeymoon, I don't know if I ever told you this, I had to go to a dentist because I had like some kind of inflammation. I forgot an abscess. I don't know, it was wild. She had to poke a hole in my gum, drain my gum, it was a whole thing and I'm terrified of the dentist, but she gave me this and I will forever hold on to this. Every time I have anything wrong with my mouth, I put this on and I don't know, I just think the powers of the Italians will help me forever. Pure purifying mask from Shiseido. That smells fine. I'm gonna keep this along with the other mask. This I've had forever and a year. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know if aloe goes bad, but 12 months, that's gotta go. This I hate. This is like some kind of pomade from LXMI. I don't know, but I'm gonna get rid of that too. Wow, we're getting rid of so many things. My Maraud Acne Control. Would have been nice to have used this when I was having bad acne. All of my acne spots, dark spot remover. I really wanna try this. I will keep all of these things. Is this good, this vitamin E? How long does vitamin E stay for? 822, okay. Wasso calming spot treatment, I'll keep that. Shiseido, 
Okay, so I'll keep all my acne stuff now that I have room. I'm gonna keep all my acne stuff together. Oh, wow, this is nice. But it's not nice because I feel really wasteful and all these things. But honestly, this really had to happen. It really had to happen. This is for my acne too. I love this Paula's Choice Acne Body Spray. You just like spray it in the hard to reach places, AKA my booty in the back of my legs because I'm forever breaking out there. Ooh, acne pads. Go to glow. Glycolic acid peels. These are not open. This sounds really nice. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything in here. Pretty much use all of this stuff, except for this number seven, pure retinol. Is this still good? I feel like this broke me out the last time that I used it. I'm gonna get rid of my La Mer. Actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm gonna put this on my chest even though I've had this for way longer than 24 months, but my chest, it's fine. Maybe I'll put number seven on my chest too. I find that when my face can't handle things, any kind of face product, I put it on my chest and then my chest looks great. It's just not sensitive there. Bioderma, love this stuff. Okay, we are in a really good spot. I'm also gonna get rid of this. This is the worst body cream I've ever tried. I don't know why I keep holding on to it, La Roche-Posay. Their triple repair moisturizing cream. So many people love this. My body, my skin does not absorb this. My skin rejects this and it's like, I am like a slippery seal. It expires 524. That makes it easy for me when it has expiration dates on it. I feel like even though, like if it says 12 months and I know I've had it for like two years, I don't know why that's not as hard of a stop as like an expiration date. Anybody else <laughs> or is that just me? The things that I use the most, especially in the morning. So I have my sunscreen serum, the Ultimune by Shiseido. And then when I run out, I put the other sunscreen next to it, cleansing oil, which there's like none left in here. Can you see I'm on the ass end. This has lasted me a lifetime. I highly recommend this. The Sado Perfect Cleansing Oil. It's so freaking good. I love that it has a pump too. My vitamin C powder that I mix in with my Ultimune. This, I put all my acne treatments, acne body spray. I have my acne calming spot treatment, rapid relief, purifying masks, spots, spots, and that's just all acne focus. I'm putting all my masks here, which is not a lot, as you can see. I'm really not a mask girly. My Bioderma, my Clarisonic, my La Mer lotion here, and then I have my retinols and my, um, what's it called, exfoliants. So the glycolic acid pads. I have my dark spot remover, line corrector number seven. This is also a really great retinol product by number seven. And there we go. Wow, that is so exciting. Brushes for my hair. I have this little guy of all my hair accessories, clips, whatnot. There's nothing in there anymore. The only thing that I have is cotton rounds, which I have these Shiseido ones that again, I'm really running low on. I love these. And then down here, I put the massaging head to my Clarisonic, which I honestly never use, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. And then I put that um, plaque gel for my teeth in there. So that's pretty empty. Everything that I'm getting rid of, honestly, I feel terrible that I'm getting rid of it, but I don't have the space. Most of it is bad, except for this, which like I literally, I will never use this. Maybe I'll bring it to the beach house and put it in the bathroom at the beach house. Hopefully I'll just continue to use things and then I'll have even more room. is good because I had to make it oh, it's just like a warm hug for my soul Alexa what's today's date today is Saturday July 27th If only every Saturday morning could look like this. Look at my room. I mean, granted, this is a mess, but you guys saw how terrible this was yesterday, how I had shit all over the floor. My vanity looks nice and clean. I'm feeling a bit organized. I mean, this will look better. I'm still packing to go to the beach later today. So those bags will be gone. But look, I feel, don't we feel zen? Don't we feel zen? How zen do we feel in our cleaned room? 
Now my star is gonna lay in the sun. Well, it's not in here yet, it's a bit too early, but he'll lay right here in the sun, right? And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna new face and then I'm gonna do a 30 minute workout. And then we're gonna head to the beach, but this just, oh, it makes me so happy. How did you get so soft? It hurts me how cute you are, it really hurts me. So cute, so cute. Oh, there they go. I don't know if you can hear my neighbors. You probably can't, because every time I say, can you hear them? Because they drive me crazy. You guys almost think I'm nuts because you can never hear them in the audio of my camera. But it's currently 7.45 in the morning on a Saturday, okay? And they're like hammering, they're building some kind of porch outside. Does someone need to tell them it's the weekend? I sound like a Karen, I know I do, but I could be sleeping right now. Like people work really hard and then, Look forward to the weekend, so. Can you hear that? They're like sawing something. That's what I'm saying, 7.45. These people are unreal. I need to do an express new face. So I think I'm gonna go over every section four times instead of six, because I gotta work out. And then I gotta go to the beach. I hate rushing. I hate a morning rushed, but I know it'll be well worth it when we're at the beach. I need to take a deep breath because I really want to enjoy my new face and be a bit more present. That's how I like to do my self-care, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Most times I just rush through my life, which I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to be so angry, but I don't, the, the sawing in the background is not giving me peace and serenity, you know? It's just not. It's giving me aggravado. I'm kind of embarrassed about how much I have these little like chit chats with you guys. I feel like I'm really going through it lately. I'm happy with where I am and I would never change any of the decisions that I've made throughout my life because honestly, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And there's a lot of things in my life that I'm super, super grateful for. But I had like a pretty terrible day today. My heart was like racing out of my chest. I felt like I couldn't breathe. It's really hard for me to talk about. This used to happen to me a lot when I was younger. I used to have this sort of like reaction. Yeah, it's just brought on by stress and anxiety and I feel that same kind of panic and my body is physically reacting. I'm trying to plan the future while also trying to be present. I read this quote the other day and this quote also gave me anxiety but it was like the universe will never let you feel settled in something that's not meant for you. A lot of the times in the moment I really don't know how I feel and that is something that I really grapple with on a day-to-day -day basis. Something will happen and I will feel as though I don't have an opinion and then after the moment has passed I will feel a certain way. Sometimes it takes me a minute to process things and process my emotions and then fast forward to like the future, the near future. I feel bad bringing back the conversation because A, the conversation feels uncomfortable to me just in general. I don't like talking about my feelings. I struggle to speak sometimes because I don't feel educated enough. It's like I have just so much self-doubt in recent years and that's also giving me anxiety and I feel like I'm just like blabbering and blabbering but I think I need to actually like do something. I need my mental health, my physical health, I need to get it all checked. So I'm sorry that I've been putting all this on you. I was gonna sit down and do my Foreo UFO2 with you guys and talk you guys through it. I need to just not stare at a camera and say this. I need to, this is like me having a conversation with myself in a mirror, literally talking in a microphone. That's literally what I'm doing. But this is what I do. And I hope that in all of my videos, I just really hope that my genuineness comes through because I'm really struggling to figure out who I am. I think I'm really becoming this new person. And it sounds so crazy. It's not a new person, but like different priorities. I feel like I was always hustle, 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 go, go, go. But now it's like wreaking havoc on my nervous system because I just, I've slowed down a little bit in that kind of like hustle culture. That's all that I ever knew. And it kind of like soothed my nerves. And sometimes when you slow down, you kind of like see things differently and can like see the bigger picture a bit. And I'm just struggling right now. And I just life is a lot. It could all be a lot. And if it's a lot for you, I'm there for you. I'm sorry that I just keep complaining, but it's, I love filming 
content. Like, I love hanging out with you guys. But I just feel like the, the superficial stuff, while I love it, just sometimes it feels too su superficial for me. I have two very different sides of me. And I'm try trying to just figure out who the main bitch is. Like, who is the main character going to be going forward? I'm ironing out my multiple personalities to figure out what my one personality is. Does that make any sense? But I love you guys, especially, you know, those of you who I talk to all the time. I feel like you guys... <laughs> You guys are the best. I love you and I talk about you all the time. Mike actually gets a little jealous because he'll be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm, I'm replying in the comments. Like I'm talking to my friends on YouTube. So I hope you know how much I appreciate you. On to the rest of the video. I'm just hanging out. I'm gonna show you the rest of my weekend, but just know that this was what was on my mind all weekend. <laughs> Enjoy. And I'm hoping this weekend is a bit different because it's clam fest. So you'll see that in the next vlog. Where is your garbage here? Right below you. I hate this hourglass palette. Which one? The one that you have. I love it. The one that I got for Nate? free because they lost the Why one. Why do you hate it? Tell me. I feel like it's not like pigmented enough. And I feel like the blush goes on really patchy. So I patchy. I was going to bring it too. I said, oh, should I bring this? But I was like, you could use mine. I don't put a lot of eyeshadow on it anymore. I don't really. I just do like one color or two colors. Or I just I do bronzer. Watching the Nikki chick. She was doing the cream eyeshadows, but she did a lot of the more expensive. She did the uh, Revlon, I'll show it to you. I bought it for Amazonian and I love it. I like Moira, their liquid uh oh, their yeah, you were about that one. I forgot the name. They're good. Crystallize me. Oh I love that. That's so pretty. That's yeah, a pretty I got color. the powder one. <clears throat> I just wanted to try that one. No, because I have this one though. Oh, I like that it has a mirror on it. I like his stuff. Um I've never really tried any of his stuff. I just tried it. Oh, your eyes are pretty. Thank you. This, this color is so pretty. Revlon Color Stay. Oh. In caramel. What do you do? You just put it all over your lid? Yeah, it's so pretty. Nice. It's just plain, you know, by myself. No, I, I mean, not by myself. I like a one By itself. And I put bronzer on top. I really need a new blush, blush, blush. I'll use this one here from... No, that's terrible. Sorry. I know. From TJ. I like a brush like this, like something softer. The one you gave and me. And not angled. That's the one you gave me. I didn't give you this one. No, the other one, the hourglass. Uh, that's good for bronzer, not for blush. No, I didn't use it for it's blush. It's like this. It's too big. Yeah, it's too big. The smaller one's good for blush. Uh -huh. I just feel like that makes it, it like packs it too it's much. It's not a good mirror. I needed a mirror. My okay, mirror you could borrow mine. I bought stone because you said it. I'm wearing amber. I'm going to wear, well, I always wear this now. I love this. You know, I've been wearing my eyebrow pencil as lip liner. You said it on your video. I'm I did. still wearing it. I love this. What is this? Which there looks like they're discontinuing Maybelline. You know I like what? Maybelline. I feel like this mascara is like really overrated. This <laughs> YSL Lash Clash. Well, guess what? The one you said that one time and I love it. Lancome? Did I not bring my mascara? I forgot my mascara, but that's okay. I feel like that's I okay. never really wear mascara. Yeah. What is this, a lipstick? I don't want to break this. How do you go with this? No, you don't have to break it. Yeah, full. Lipstick? I love that. Is it matte? Yeah. That's a pretty color. I love it. And I, I put, don't like matte I lipstick, I put it with though. this one. Oh, I have that. All the time. Too. And then I put a little dab of stone More on. More buff. Are you going to wear this? I, I wear it every, day, every time this I go This looks out. really good with this. That's I a know. good color combo. That's oh, what I've like been wearing. That. That's pretty. You can try it. No, no it's okay. Don't want to. I have gloss on. Okay. I don't like a matte lipstick, but I'd like to see it on. No, I like that. I'm trying your blush. It's fine. You don't need to. You would say yes. This is nice. I like this. Yes. Oh, I love Mario's stuff. That's I pretty. Know. I think his stuff. Not patchy. And I want to try his sculpting. Not, I have the. The stick? No, I have that, but I don't use it. I don't know why I got it. This is absolutely terrible. I like it. I don't like this. I used to want to go out. I hate this. What do you use? I literally. I actually use I use this one, one more. two, three, four. I don't use this. No, I use that. I don't use this either. No, I what use, do you use this I don't for? use it. I use the bronzer. I use the bronzer, but it's not a very dark bronzer. No. And I use I use this sometimes. A little bit here. I use that on my Cupid's bow. I use it, I use it here. Oh, I don't oh. like to put I don't like to put highlighter here. No, I, I use it, it under my brows. My age, I shouldn't. Makeup is what has been pulling me through lately. That's good. Like when I have some on I feel better. I don't know what makes you feel better. I really do. Yoga. Which I haven't been doing all summer. It's not gonna I haven't I mean, I remember, I mean, that your dad, and he was... I feel like I'm just worried about everybody else. Me too, I worry about everybody. I don't really feel like, I, I mean, obviously I'm sad about my dad, but like in a way, it's like kind of weird. 
like I don't have to worry about my dad anymore. Yeah. Which is like sad, but it's like kind of a relief at the same time. Sad. For him too, because he was suffering. Yeah, so I don't really know. I feel like I just worry about everybody else all the time. You said it one time, but I never use it. Wait a minute. Is that Cokie? It looks totally different. It looks terrible. I would I never know. recommend I mean, this. I think Look at how wet the brush is. Throw it out. I don't even use it. Oh, it smells terrible, Aunt Debbie. And it's separating. We need to throw this out. No, this needs to go so in the garbage. Gross, honey. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna have a fun we night. Good. I, mean, I like these colors on me. I think you look pretty. I don't know. I think you look pretty. My aesthetic. And the glasses are nice. Thank you. Mm. I like G's glasses and she got them from. This is delicious. That's pretty with your dress. Gianna. Gianna. Oh, that's cute. I like this bracelet. And I like this bracelet. Nick. Lazuli. What is it? Lapis, Lapis lazuli? lazuli? I like that. That looks really pretty with your dress. It's very good for you. Very blue. I like it. Yes. What a vibe. <laughs> What's the matter? You're afraid of a little birdie? I mean, it's not a little birdie, first of all. Oh, God, he's coming. Is he? He's coming, yeah. He's coming after. You've agitated him. Yeah. And I want no part of it because I'm always in the crosshair. You are. Birds. I wonder why. Wait, can you play the song again? That was really fun. What's the name of this app to share with Bird. everyone? They have, like, stripes on their wings. Yeah, they're really pretty. Color. Beautiful. They're like attack birds. Yeah, they are attack. They do fight a lot, though. I do see them by my own. I want to play this dove. How do I play the dove noise? Right, I'm going inside because A, it's hot out, and B, I it's know. hot out. Beautiful. What? Love this buggy. Could you imagine me driving this with the surfboard up top? Mm, I love it. I want it. I just, I really want it, and I like the color. It's romantical. Oh wow, it is beautiful. So beautiful. It does. It matches my nails. You're right. I should. That's super cute. I love it. Smoke weed and we'll go surfing, except I don't go in the ocean. Oh my god, those look so good. I love the jutsu plant. How are those? I gotta find a picture so your dad is a marina. Oh, I would love to see that. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Bought me. That's funny. I love it. I love it. Scary.